I am now delighted to award the title of Emeritus Professor of the University of London in recognition particularly of his development of practice research to Professor Robin Nelson. Thanks for all, Vice Chancellor. I thank you for this honor. Good afternoon, everybody. Royal Central is rightly known as a developer of talent for the creative industries. Its long list of alumni who achieved national and international standing in their creative fields is illustrious. But it's also a place of innovation and inquiry, producing fresh insights into theatrical forms and contexts as they developed markedly, particularly through the multiple perspectives which characterize the 21st century. Consider, for example, recent shifts in approaches to, approaches to casting, which embrace those who are hard of hearing, those with Down syndrome, and challenge gender and ethnic assumptions. Consider, too, the current challenges worldwide to a sedimented Eurocentric curriculum. Would such changes have come about without a critical perspective and self-questioning? If a conservatoire aims in part to conserve, to sustain established traditions, other perspectives are needed to shape them up and bring fresh perspectives. In this context, Royal Central needs to be a research laboratory as well as a school of theatre. And indeed, Royal Central became a constituent college of the University of London in 2005 as part of a worldwide impetus to draw traditional conservatoires into an academic environments of universities and into their key function of research. The shift of institutions to a hybrid identity has brought with it a range of challenges as well as opportunities. Why should elite artists want to engage in academic research? Should they abandon acting, dancing, and music making to write books and articles? Well, not unless they want to, and it's not necessary. Over the past three decades, we've been able to show that in bringing fresh perspectives and making innovations in performance, Many practitioners are already engaged in research. They are what I call practitioner researchers, undertaking research through their practices. It's just that the academy, until recently, has little understanding of what I call doing knowing, assuming that knowledge can only be expressed and disseminated as data in numbers or words, not shared through embodied encounters. So the idea of practice research was developed to show that the head, where the mind is traditionally located, is actually attached to a body, and that in one important sense, all knowing is embodied. But the work of practitioner researchers, not just in the arts, but wherever knowing is developed through a practice, needed a recognition, which I'm pleased to say has been achieved, certainly in the UK, but also in other parts of the world. In conclusion, I'd like to suggest that such a development at Royal Central is in the spirit of Elsie Fogarty, the founder in 1906 of Central School and in whose chair the Vice Chancellor sits. Just as she believed voice training was not just a matter of manipulating the vocal cords but must extend to the whole body, she believed that technique training should be located in a broader education. She sought formal validation for learning through doing in drama and I think she would be up for practice research and proud to see Royal Central recognized as it now is for its top researchers as well as for its world-leading creative practitioners. I thank you, Vice Chancellor Prince Walker.